It's late and I've made several videos today. I just wanted to talk really quickly because I went out and I voted today. And again, I was just overwhelmed and a little disappointed because um, at my polling place, I am in a, in a predominantly Dominican or uh, Latino neighborhood, um, but I was there maybe 15 minutes and going and coming, I did not see any other of my brothers and sisters they're voting and i also had told a friend or two about voting and one said oh i forgot and all that then he asked me what it was about and i was like well if you were planning on voting then you would have known what you were voting for wouldn't you <sighs> this disturbs me a little bit you know <laughs> because if we are not prepared uh to vote then we should be prepared to take i guess whatever laws and actions come down the pike because politics does not work from the top down. People who are voting in only the presidential election are expecting for things to work from the top down. Politics works from the bottom up. We start with our local representatives, our city council members, our state senators, and go up and up and up from there. Things change because we change them at the grassroots level, not because they're changed by the president or even by the Congress a lot of times. It starts very, very low down. And some of the things that I was voting for today were city council members, there were people for board positions and all this kind of things. And even though I had done a lot of my research, there were still some things on the ballot that I was like, you can pick six people here. I didn't know six people to pick, so I just picked the people that I knew that I wanted to vote for. Um, and that led me today to come home and to look for sample ballots for every election. So now that I can go and I can look up exactly what's gonna be on the ballot and I can research every single thing and compare and contrast different people and all that good stuff. So I found a good site. I'll try to post it down, for, at least for New York down in the comments. But I think, I, I mean, down in the description box. I think I Googled New York sample ballot or something like that. So I'm sure that you can do it in every state. Um, and it came up with lots and lots and lots of information, plus a sample ballot for the general election already. So that was wonderful. I just want to talk for a minute. Um, black folks, I'm telling you, Latinos are out there voting. And in the near future, next five or 10 years, they will have the power that we would like to have, but we are not willing to work for it. They're voting like we were voting in the 70s or the 60s and 70s. You're gonna turn around and you're gonna be like, why aren't they taking care of us? Why are we still at the bottom? It's because we are not working, for one, to be in positions of power. Also, for the candidates that we really want to vote for, we are also not working for them and going out and actually voting for them in these small elections. So, as time passes on, I just wanna see more people voting, more people working for the candidates, more people of my complexion, uh, my people getting out there and really grabbing the reins of this political game and kind of enjoying it and working it to their advantage. Tell me what you think down in the comments.